Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial we will learn how we can import a fixture list in the Matrix 5 patch editor. As task we will import a fixture list for fixtures which are placed in a non-regular shape. Importing a fixture list is very important when you are creating big projects with non-regular shapes respectively you have already created your project in a CAD or visualizer software to show it to the customer or get a feeling of it. Matrix can import fixture lists in the CSV file format. CSV means comma separated values and is an open file format. Nearly all CAD or visualizer software on the market can export the created project as CSV file, but it can also be opened with a spreadsheet tool. In this tutorial we will use a CSV file which was exported by a visualizer. You will find the link to download the file in the description of this tutorial. To import a fixture list we navigate in the Matrix 5 patch editor to file import fixture list. Now we open the desired folder and file. In the first step of the import procedure we have to set some general settings. As I told you the CSV file format is an open file format and can have several properties. There are for instance different field separators when we have no clue about the properties of the current file, we can open it with the Windows Notepad. For this example, we can figure out there is one header line and as field separator, tabulator is used. These settings we can set up in the settings page of the CSV import. So we activate use header line one and as field separator, we change it to tabulator. After we have done the settings, we click next. Now we have to assign the different columns in that way that matrix can interpret it. Okay, for fixture column, we choose product, patch means the DMX addressing. DMX mode is equals for us. So we go to position X means also position X for matrix, position Y means position Y, position Z means position Z for matrix. For all different fixtures in the fixture list we have to assign a matrix fixture. When we have a look to our task we know we are working with generic panel 5x5 five five and generic RGB light one pixel. So we assign the generic 5x5 five five RGB blinder first with a double click at the assign products, choose as protocol DMX. Now we have to assign the 5x5 five five pixel panels. So let's write in the product 5x5. Five five. Matrix is searching and that's the correct product we click OK and for the generic PAR 56 LED we assign with a double click at the assign column again DMX and as product we will use the generic RGB light one pixel click OK. In the almost last step we have to scale the result a bit. We know a panel has a resolution of 5 by 5 pixels and there are 5 on top of each other. That means we need at least a patch size in Y of 25 pixels. Otherwise the panels will overlap. So when we have a look to the map area and X and Y, we can try to scale it in X and Y by 10. Now let's again have a look at the map area, 30 pixels sounds okay. So 
we click OK. Matrix has now created a patch according to the fixture list and our settings. Before we close the patch editor, we have to change the matrix settings. Therefore, we navigate to matrix settings, change the match voxel map area, that means the size to render in matrix and click OK. And now we can close the patch editor. When we now activate an effect on deck A and deck B, we can see the new patch also in the previews. On deck A, we will activate an SCE plasma effect and on deck B, we will activate an SCE clouds. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.